Okay. So this video is to help with uh, the ideal gas law. Um, okay, I'm gonna use ammonia gas as my um, as my subject matter here. Uh, just remember, ammonia is NH3, and the molar mass of this is gonna be uh, fourteen. 0.007 plus 3 times 1.008, which incidentally basically gives us, uh, where is it? Calculator, it's not here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So three times one point zero zero eight. 14.007 get 17.031 so the, just to have this our molar mass is going to be 17.031 grams per mole okay so we have that information which is good to have because we will have to possibly use it to get there um let's see here Okay, all right, so let's do a problem. Let's have a good one for you guys. Let's see. So let's consider, oh, we have a two liter bottle of soda. Okay, we empty the soda out, but we want to fill it full of ammonia. Okay, so if you have a two liter uh, vessel or bottle, I'll say bottle. Um, let's say we have it at basically um, a little warmer. It's a, so it's about room temperature. So that would probably about, uh, let's say 300 and nine Kelvin, so that's what it's at. And with atmospheric pressure, let's say that, um, you know, we're up on top of a mountain. So our atmospheric pressure is going to be uh, 0 0.981 atmospheres. So we got a little bit thinner air than anywhere else. I got liters of bottle. This is this and that. So this is my, this is my uh, volume, my temperature, and my pressure. And I, I did them all in the correct units. If they're not in the correct units, you have to convert them. Okay. Um. Okay. So because we got it in um, liters, Kelvin, and atmospheres, we can use the constant, which all these must be in those units in order to use it. So we know where our constant is. Constant is going to be the R, which is equal to 0 0.0821. So we know we have that. We're good there. And the question here is going to ask for the number of moles of ammonia. Okay, so that's what we want. We want the number of moles of ammonia. Okay. So in this case, we're just gonna plug and play everything into the equation. Uh, pressure, in this case, is gonna be 0 0.981. Volume will be 2.00. We're solving for N, 
So algebraically, I'm just basically um, dividing <clears throat> R and T underneath, so the constant, which is uh, 0 0.0821, and then the temperature, which is 309 Kelvin. So we go ahead and <clears throat> put it in our calculator. Once again, remember, you have to do the PEMDAS for it, so parentheses 0.981, times two, parenthesis, divide, parenthesis, 0 0.0821, times 309, parenthesis. And what we get is a 0 0.0773387, some noise. <clears throat> three sig figs is our magic number, so I look at these first three significant figures, and so my answer becomes zero seven seven three moles of nh three now because we were we weren't given the moles or we weren't given grams in all honesty it didn't have to be ammonia it could be any gas this could be carbon dioxide this problem this could be water vapor this could be um my brain nitrogen oxygen anything right hydrogen Basically, because it's looking for moles, all you're doing is plugging in the volume, the temperature, the pressure, and the constant. And because it does not matter what kind of gas it is, you will get the same answer as long as the, you only have those information and you're looking for N or number of moles. So this is what it would look like, okay? Okay, so that's a problem that's looking for moles. So let's try a problem that's not looking for moles, that instead is looking for one of the other variables. So in other words, this problem will either A, give you uh, your gas in moles, okay, or it'll give your gas in grams. So let's try that out. So let's say you have, and we'll use ammonia still, let's say you have, uh, let's see, 2.48 grams of NH4. That's what NH3. NH4 is a million NH3. Okay. You want to know uh, the pressure. So pressure is our thing. So we're given a volume. Our volume is going to be a two liter bottle. All right. So two liters. Uh, we'll make the temperature room temperature again, so we're going to go about 310. Okay. Um, let's see. So we're missing pressure. We're given grams. So essentially, when we have the constant, so our constant again, R is going to be equal to 0 0.0821. So we have that. But one thing we do not have is numbers of moles. So we have to convert this grams to moles. So, um, um, so I'm gonna come, actually wait a minute, it shouldn't be grams. I meant to make that kilograms. There we go. So converting this to moles. So we start off with what we have, 2.48 kilograms. And this is all ammonia, so I'm not gonna write ammonia every time there. Now you have to, in order to use molar mass down here, you got to have it in grams. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. Now we're in grams. So now I can use this number down here. So 17.031 grams is one mole. And now I can find N, which is going to equal, I do 2.48 times 1,000. Divide that by 17.031, and I get a number that is 145.616A and some noise. Now this 145, I have to look at my sig figs. I got three, infinite, and five. So I got three here, and six changes to five. So my N is going to be equal to um, 146. 
holes. So this is a lot of mold, so to speak. Okay, we're putting a lot of stuff in it. So this is gonna be pretty high pressure. Okay, probably more pressure than any two liter bottle can ever, ever have. <laughs> It'll break it in, in pieces. So now that we have our end, Now we got this turned into N. So N is 146. All right. So erase this. You can just plug everything into the ideal gas equation. And we're solving for P. So it's going to be NRT divided by V. So we're going to take our uh, 146, multiply it by our constant. And then we're going to divide it by our volume. And what we're going to get in meters, I'm not in meters, in atmospheres. So 146 times 0 0.0821 times 310 divided by 2. Ooh. I chose way too many kilograms of ammonia to put inside this container, but that's okay. Um, one, eight, five, seven, nine, two, three atmospheres, all right? But let's look at sig figs. I got three, three, three. Um, well, let's say that was a boop. So that is three, so three, three, three. So I got, this is my, oh, sorry, boop. So this is my first three. The seven affects the five, so it becomes one, eight, six zero and this is atmospheres so probably something similar to what you find deep in the atmospheric clouds of jupiter like really deep a lot of pressure in there because it's a big, big planet so um yeah so that's how you could find um the pressure okay so that was two example problems one where you had to solve um, for moles and when we had to solve for something that wasn't moles. Now for any one of the other examples it's the same process. You first have to make sure that your N is able, you're able to get your N if it's in grams or kilograms you need to convert it so you can put it through the process and if you are solving for any variable you're gonna have to change the formula. So solving for P. Let me show you how this looks. Okay so P is equal to N R T divided by V. And if you're solving for volume, it's gonna be volume is equal to N R T divided by P. If we're solving for N, it's gonna be P V over R T equals N. And then if we're solving for T, but you're not gonna ever solve for R. R is always gonna be given to you. Uh, T is going to be PV divided by NR. So these are, you know, maybe some helpful things for you might want to pause and take a picture, write it down. Um, for ideal gases, these are the different ways you'd move the ideal equation around so that way you could um, solve it for this particular example. So there's a whole thing about ideal gas. Uh, that there's like a defining thing that says what is an ideal gas, uh, but for your intents and purposes to save time and simplicity, I'm not going to go into details about what makes an ideal gas an ideal gas, and you know how we uh, made up made this constant a thing. Um, but for now, just uh, follow these steps, and you can solve any one of these ideal gas problems. So once again, if mass is given you convert to number of moles. Sometimes you might be given density. So if you're given density, you're gonna to have to convert to mass again. So you have to solve, because D equals M over V. So mass is equal to density times volume, okay? And then of course, now that you have the mass, you can find the number of moles, just like we did. So and again, must have number of moles convert or how you may. So if you're not given number of moles or you're given grams, you must always convert it to number of moles. All right, so I, I hope uh, that this is helpful. Uh, if it's not, please again, send me an email so I can set up a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom session 
and we can work through uh, some of the home the weak work problems together if we need to uh, otherwise uh, we've got infinite tries it's not due until not this Sunday but the next Sunday so um, you got time so take a look at it um, take your time with it read through chapter 13 section 2 uh, this is where all that's at, at in there other than that I guess that will be it thanks for watching the video